Welcome back to our Model S4000 mini-series. Today, we're tackling an important topic, egress. Let's be clear from the start. The S4000 does not come with egress capabilities. If you're specifying an S4000, it should never be in an area designated as a means of egress. Instead, the S4000 is designed for spaces where you only need to close off an area for smoke and fire containment. Now, if egress is required, don't worry, we've got you covered. Our S9000 series, which is identical to the S4000 in every way, includes compliant swinging egress doors. The S9500 series even offers two or more egress doors for larger spaces. So, in areas where an egress route is a must, the S9000 should be your go-to solution, and you can check it out on our website. Now, you might be wondering, when would you use a side-coiling fire door that doesn't have egress? Well, there are plenty of scenarios where the code allows for this. For example, vertical opening separation. Think of it as a condition where several floors are connected for non-egress stairs. Another application would be atrium separation. These are large open spaces within buildings that extend vertically and connect multiple stories. These are just a few examples where the S4000 shines. It's a powerhouse in these specific applications, but if you need egress, remember to check out our S9000 series. It offers the same high performance as the S4000 with the added benefit of egress doors. And that's a wrap on how to deal with egress on side coiling fire doors. If you missed episode two, where we uncovered how the S4000 closes specifically during a power outage, make sure to catch up. It's an episode you won't want to miss. Next up in episode four, we're revealing the secrets on how to design the head track and pocket openings of the S4000. We'll also dive into what the S4000 does differently from a design standpoint. So smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode. See you in the next one.